Hey, how are you? This video is about VIMRC files. I made this video because I feel like there's not enough clarification out there on how to access or even create your own personal VIMRC file. A lot of times when you look it up, you'll see something like this, which kind of implies that one already exists or that you've created it in the first place, which you probably haven't if you're watching this video. So, um... This is a very short, to-the-point tutorial on a little bit about what a VIMRC file is and how to ac uh, create, access, and edit your own personal VIMRC file. So, what is a VIMRC file? Um, if you open a VIM, you'll see that you're presented with a very empty, bland environment. Uh, the cursor's over here, and there's no line numbers, uh, for instance. So... A VIMRC file allows you to set configuration settings and plugins that will that VIM will initialize with uh, on default. Um, now to do that, you want to go to the terminal and make sure that you're in the root directory, and you're going to want to create a new VI uh, file and ca call it .vimrc. The dot is crucial, and make sure that it's it's just like this right here. And you click enter, and um, that'll create a new one if it doesn't exist already. And, um, you know, as you can see, I've already created mine here. Um, uh, since I only have a few right now, I'll explain what they are uh, since it won't take too much time. This is short for set number. Uh, it sets the line numbers, as you can see. My VIM now initializes default with line numbers. This one sets the wrap margin, and this sets the ruler. Uh, these are all pretty useful things. The ruler is this right here. The, these are pretty useful things that, um, you know, everybody could probably use. Uh, but I plan to add more in the future, and I plan on making more videos on any cool configuration settings or plugins I find or any useful ones. So uh, subscribe for that, and um, just go online. There's a plethora of different uh, settings and plugins you can find. Play around, see what works for you, and um, definitely please post any cool, uh, interesting configuration settings or plugins you find on uh, the comments below because I'm definitely interested in hearing about them and I'm sure other people are as well. Uh, so once you're all set with that, hit escape, uh, colon, and then hit WQ for write quit. You're going to write to the file and quit. And then you're going to be back at the terminal. And if you open up a random VIM file, you'll see now that it initializes with the settings by default, like the line numbers that are there, as you can see. So it's a pretty useful, uh, very, very useful tool for using VIM. Uh, I hope this helped you out. So thank you for watching. And if, if this helped you out, then please share it and definitely subscribe.